Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to another doll ranking video. Today we are going to start tackling Ever After High. It's going to take a few videos, I'm guessing three. I think this is going to be a three part series, but we're going to start off today. I've done a lot of different ranking videos on this channel. Most notably was Monster High. That's definitely been like the longest running one, the one that had the most video parts, but I've done it for several other doll brands. And on my last one, the LOL OMG ranking, one of you guys asked if the Ever After High rankings could come next and I was like why not? So here we are. We're going to be taking a look at every After High doll, and I'm going to be ranking them based on my opinion. This is just my opinion, so if you guys disagree, it's totally okay. It's not a big deal. We're just having like a fun little time here. I do also have to say that this is my opinion based on the fact that I've never seen any After High media, and I also didn't really get into the dolls. So another series that we're working on on the channel right now is me going through all of the Monster High media from like Gen 1 and Gen 2, and I'm watching that for the first time. I do plan on watching the Ever After High show at some point because I've heard very, very good things about it. So I also want to watch the Ever After High media. I just haven't done that yet. So like that won't be factoring into my opinions at all. And as far as the dolls go, I, yeah, I never really got into them. I do think having like prepared a little bit for this video, I have a better opinion of them now than when they first came out. There are two big things that I think made me not like them when they came out. The first was the heads. I know that's a thing for a lot of people is that the head molds are just very round and I think some dolls it looks better than others and some it just is not very good. It's not something that appeals as much to me. Um, and the other big thing is that they came out when I was a teenager in the midst of my Monster High obsession and like I haven't stopped being obsessed with Monster High, but when I was a teenager, I was a lot more petulant. And so even though I've always liked, you know, princess dresses and poofy and fairy tale and like that sort of thing, it's not something that I've ever not been interested in, but I had to pretend that I wasn't when I was a teenager because I was like edgy and cool. So <laughs> I didn't like let myself get into them as a teenager. Uh, as an adult, like I said, my opinions might be more favorable, so I'm hoping that this will get to be kind of a more balanced video. Um, but unlike the Monster High ones, I am not doing it like by character. I'm just going in order of a big master list I found of all of the dolls that were released. I will link it in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. But I do have to say that, again, since I'm not really an expert on the dolls in any capacity, I don't know if there's any missing. So if I miss one, I'm sorry. I'm just going off of this little like database type list because that's the easiest way for me to do it. So we're just going kind of in order. So with that being said, this one, the first video is probably gonna be the most positive one. And then as we get to parts two and three, we're gonna start getting into the Ever After High reboot that's gonna get rough. So this is gonna be a good start. We're gonna enjoy this one today. If you guys do find yourself enjoying, if you could give the video a like, it's super helpful. And if you're new here and you like your time here, definitely subscribe so you can see more. I know I've said a lot. Sorry, I just had to like explain a lot for the intro here, but let's go ahead and start ranking these alts. Okay, so as those of you who have seen my rankings before will know, I do all my rankings in Procreate, and we have some special tiers for Ever After High. We have Queen, Princess, Lord, Commoner, Peasant, and Banished. Very thematic, very appropriate. Also, Queen, Princess, and Lord are genderless terms here. Um, also, if you have seen a lot of my other ranking videos, you'll know that a tier is missing here that I include in... I think literally every other <laughs> ranking video I've done, I usually have a tier called Good But Not For Me, and those are for dolls that I can objectively say have a good design, but I just don't super feel connected to. I didn't decide to do that in this ranking because, first of all, it doesn't fit the theme, and we have to be on theme here. But also, I feel like since I never really got into Ever After High, there would be so many in that tier, I felt like it might be a bit of a cop-out for me. Uh, so we're taking off the training wheels today, and I'm just going to be a little bit meaner, I guess, if I don't like something. <laughs> so we are starting off with Apple White. Also, we're starting off with a crisp 29% battery on my iPad. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, Apple White, what was that on my screen? Anyway, I think she's actually pretty solid. I like her bag a lot. I like the texture that it has. I don't know why that stood out to me of everything. Like, it makes sense. It's an apple. It's cute. But yeah, I like the texture a lot. I think that her design is like very quintessential to what I think of when I think of Ever After High. Like, this is obviously Ever After High. And I don't think that's a bad thing. She's not going in top tier. She's not like one of my favorites necessarily, but she is good. So Apple White goes in Princess. Then we have Briar Beauty and she's not terrible. 
I think for me, the like pink and black combination just reminds me of middle school years that I wish I didn't have to be reminded of. <laughs> so I, I think that's that's what's mostly getting me is the color scheme I really am having trouble with. But I do like the print on her skirt. I think that's very pretty. Also the way that it lays, it kind of looks like overlapping petals. I'm sure that was intentional, but I do do love it. And then I also really like the tights. I don't think I like the mesh that they chose because it makes her leg skin like peek through and look just very desaturated but i like the idea of the thorns that's cool so i think we're gonna put her in lord i think that's appropriate Alrighty, maddie hatter you know it's so funny i used to love the mad hatter I recently did a video talking about the Alice in Wonderland Mattel Collector doll, and I mentioned that, like, I'm not really a Wonderland fan, and I never was, okay? Like, even when I was obsessed with the Mad Hatter specifically, I never really liked Alice in Wonderland. I just really liked the Mad Hatter and the Cheshire Cat. So, Maddie was actually one that, when I was younger, was probably my favorite because I was allowed to like that. You know, I was so irritating as a teenager, <laughs> but... I don't know, I feel a little bit less of that now. I still think that she has a really solid design. It's very fun, like with all the patterns and colors and stuff. Just not quite what I'm into now at 26 years old instead of 16 years old. It's been a decade. Okay. <laughs> I was not ready for that. Anyway, uh, we're going to pop Maddie into Lord. Then we have Raven Queen, another one that I was like slightly more favorable towards as say it with me, an edgy teenager, obviously. <laughs> uh, she's still cool. Like, I still think she has really cool elements. The, like, cuff collar thing that she's got going on is fun. I do like her skirt a lot with the layers. That's very interesting. And this ring bracelet? That's pretty cool. I will say, though, that I think this is one that I think the face mold just does not work on as well because all of her design elements are edgier and darker and sharper and then she just has this very rotund face and I get it like I get that that's just however after high is but it does feel slightly disjointed to me I think she's going to go into Lord as well like I said we're starting off strong like this video is going to have a lot of positives I just know from looking ahead it's going to get rough in the next couple parts okay Ashlyn Ella she's cute she's she's precious she's like more towards the vibe that I feel myself gravitating towards now, which is so funny to like have Raven Queen and her back to back. I think this is cute. Um, not as cute as some of her other dolls. We have another one coming up that like, I know that I really like. So I think that that's holding her back a little bit. I think I don't like the underprint of like her underskirt, like the lower layer, but I love the sleeves. The shoes are fine. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put her in princess. She's a cutie. All right, Hunter Huntsman, first of all. I, again, I don't know anything really about Ever After High. Like, I've heard some good things. I know sort of the premise, but I don't know enough to feel okay with the name Hunter Huntsman. <laughs> like, that's like if your name is Johnson, naming your kid John. It's funny, like John Johnson, it's a silly name. Sorry if there's any John Johnsons watching. That would be hysterical. But I'm just saying Hunter Huntsman, like, come on now. To the actual design of the doll, which is what I'm supposed to be looking at. Uh, the boots are crazy detailed, actually. Like, very detailed. So is his bag. I have to say this is more detailed than I feel like we get on a lot of male dolls, both in Ever After High and just in general. So that's pretty cool. He's got some layers going on. I hate the hair. I'm so sorry. I hate the hair. Um, and I don't like him as good as any of the ones in Lord. So even though I'm saying good things about him, he's still going to go into commoner. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Alrighty, Blondie Locks. I forget that Goldilocks is a fairy tale. I don't know why. I just actively forget it. I don't know. Is that a... What is that on her, on her dress? What is that in the little, like, cameo circle? I don't know. I'm confused. Uh, I don't know. I like her design less. It's not that it's bad. It's just I don't like it. <laughs> it I think it's the bright yellow hair. 
I don't know. Also, the shoes, I don't think that those really match. Like, the brown and the black. The black, I understand she's got some in her dress, but they just feel really dark compared to the rest of her outfit. This is personal, so I'm sorry, but Blondie's going to go into commoner. All right, Cupid. This one's hard for me, okay? Because objectively, is it a good design? Yes. Does Cupid from Monster High look infinitely cooler to me? Yes. So, <laughs> it's just so difficult. It is solid, though. I like all of her, like, bronze accessories. I feel as though most of the time dolls get either gold or silver, or sometimes both. But bronze is an interesting choice, and I do like it a lot. I think it looks really good. I do super appreciate the detail in her wings. Those very easily could have been just a pair of white plastic wings. And all of the painted detail makes it so much better. And they're in the shape of a heart, and it's cute. I don't like her headband. I think that's silly. Honestly, aside from her headband, I feel pretty good about her. Again, don't love the face mold. I think that this particular face mold just isn't as good for Cupid. But everything else is is pretty solid. She's going to go into Lord. Mm -mm, no, I lied. She's going to go into Princess. Cerise Hood. I do think this is a fun design. It's like somewhat simplistic compared to some of the others, but I just feel like it's really solid. I appreciate the different fabrics that we've got. I love the printed detail on her cloak. I just think that's really cool. Also, I just love cloaks, okay? So maybe, <laughs> maybe I'm just biased in that regard. She looks sick. Maybe it's her hair, or maybe it is her head, but I feel like her head looks slightly less like a circle than all the other ones. Like, still very round, but maybe a little bit less. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm into her. I think she is also going to go into Princess. Okay, Cedarwood, I really want to like more than I do. I do still like her. I don't think that this is a bad design. I just think that it could have been even better. I love the fact that she is, like, carved from wood, so her doll actually has, like, texture to the skin that is meant to feel like the, um, what do you call it? The rings inside a tree? Or it might be, like, meant to be the bark of a tree. Point is, is that she feels like a tree. She's got a lot of detail in the body of the doll that I think is super, super cool. I am okay with the idea of the top half of this dress. Honestly, I guess I'm okay with the idea of all of it. I can't tell if those ribbons are printed on or if they're a 3D piece, but I do think that they feel very disjointed just going into the seam. Like, I think she needed a belt there, right, to kind of make that look right instead of just looking a little bit odd. It looks like a costume, you know? Like, she looks like she's wearing a costume, and I really violently dislike these socks. <laughs> I don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't know what the point was, but I'm not a fan. I think she's going to go into commoner. Okay, Dexter Charming, I feel, like, personally affronted by. I don't know why, but just looking at him feels like I'm being attacked. <laughs> I don't even mind the idea that he, like, has the glasses and has kind of more modern elements mixed in with the more, like, royal stuff, like the crown and the glasses. It's honestly kind of fun. I'm someone who has to wear glasses because I can't see at all. So I kind of appreciate that. It's kind of fun to see stuff like that. And even the jeans and like the blazer I could maybe get behind. But this like edgy teenage boy printed shirt that's underneath there, I just was going through with my little brother um, some old clothes of his to see what we could donate and what needed to be like tossed. And it was like kind of funny to me, but also so bad. <laughs> so that is just reminding me of that. And it's funny, but I don't like the way it looks. And this little hipster scarf really ties it together in the worst way humanly possible. Dexter's going in peasant. <laughs> I hate that. Ooh, ooh, okay. Lizzie Hearts. Lizzie Hearts might be my favorite now. I love this. Everything about it. The heart-shaped hair is so fun. Her outfit, look at all of these details and all of these design elements, and it all feels very cohesive. It doesn't feel like too much. Her tights are incredible. I like, I actually like this doll. I think she's so pretty. And she's going to be our first one to go into Queen. Good for Lizzie. 
Okay, Holly O'Hare. She's okay. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot happening. And unlike with Lizzie, it does feel a little bit disjointed. Like, the whole outfit, I think, feels okay. But then the accessories, like the bright pink bag with the black strap, I'm just not vibing with. The necklace, I don't really like. The bright purple tiara, not really a fan of. Overall, I think that it doesn't work for me. I think that there's a lot of good pieces, but I think that overall... She's not super working for me. She's going to go into Peasant. And then her twin sister, Poppy O'Hare, hate even more. <laughs> I think that these two are the daughters of Rapunzel, I think. And if I'm right, then I do like the concept that she's, like, cut her hair short instead of keeping it long like her sister. Like, I like the idea of that. I just really don't like this. I feel like it feels the same as the sister, except kind of worse. I don't like the scarf. Um, I really violently dislike the purple and then like the ginger hair. I just don't love those colors together. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. And I think she's going to be the first one to go into Banished. <laughs> We've now got a doll in every tier. All right, Alistair Wonderland is honestly just so boring. Um, I have purchased him and then promptly turned him into a custom doll. So, I don't know. I don't know what that says. I didn't like him enough to keep him the way he was. <laughs> I just feel like he looks really boring. Like, his boots aren't super detailed. His bag isn't exciting. He just looks bland. And for that, he's going into the peasant. I feel like the names of these tiers are so fun and so thematic, but it also makes it feel so much more personal when I rank a doll in a low tier. <laughs> I have to hurry this up. I have so many more to get through. Uh, Bunny Blanc, another like Wonderland sort of themed one. I just don't like as much as Maddie. I don't think that she's terribly designed. I kind of wish that her ears were attached to her head instead of being a headband. I like the vest though. That's cool. Mm, I, I don't know. I see, this is a doll where if I had the good but not for me tier, that's where I'd put her. Because, like, objectively, her design is fine. I just don't care for it. I think she's going to go into commoner. Darling Charming. This is, like, a powerful stance. I found this very interesting. Like, the pose that she's in for her stock photo. She's got power. I love that she's got the armor happening. Like, that's very fun and exciting. I like the colors for her. Not really a fan of this, like, overlay skirt. I think that isn't super. But other than that, she looks great. She's going to go into Princess. Fable Thorne. Okay. I'm not going to say that, like, I'm the ultimate authority on fairy tales because I'm not. Very clearly. However, all of the other ones... Even if I'm wrong, I could at least take a stab at what fairy tale they might be connected to. I haven't the slightest idea where she came from or why she looks like this. I'm extremely confused. And weirdly, that's making it harder for me to like her because I, I feel like I can't just look at her objectively and say, okay, well, even without knowing who her fairy tale parent is, like, do you like the design? I don't know because <laughs> I don't know if it's good or not. There are some things that I like. I like the idea of the wings that she's got. The shirt feels like very of its time, but it's not horrifically offensive to me. But when you put it all together and I have no clue what she is supposed to kind of represent, I don't like it at all. So sorry, Fabel, but you are banished. Rosabella Beauty, also not a fan of. Um, again, kind of like Dexter with the glasses. I like the idea of it, but there's just so many other bad things that I can't get behind it. <laughs> really, it just, it's just a lot for me. This is very much, you know, Beauty and the Beast, Disney version, <laughs> like the yellow and like the red with the brunette hair. You can see where they got their inspiration from. No judgment there. I only bring it up because I do feel like even within licensed Disney dolls, the Belle dolls, like Belle from Beauty and the Beast, I feel like never look as good as the other princesses. Like they just don't, 
I feel like they have a harder time nailing her down. And I feel like even though this is not Disney's Belle and not Disney Belle's daughter, did I say that right? You get it. Even though there's no Disney connection here whatsoever, I feel like it's kind of the same thing. It just doesn't doesn't feel right. The shirt doesn't feel appropriate for a teenager. I don't know. That looks like a middle-aged mom shirt. <laughs> I don't like the shoes. I violently dislike that only one of the roses is painted pink and that all of the other ones are just brown. <laughs> because why would we paint the other ones? <laughs> yeah, I don't like her. She's banished. Fair good fairy. Uh, ages ago, ages ago in my channel, I did a video roasting the worst ever after high dolls and she was one of them and I still don't like her. Some dolls in those like roasting videos I've looked back on and been like, okay, they're not that bad. She is that bad. I still don't like the wings, and I don't like how she's smirking at me. I don't understand why she's the only one who has this expression. Okay, I mean, I understand why she's the only one, because this would be terrible if this were the expression every other doll had. But I just don't like it. I'm not someone who finds dolls creepy. Clearly. I find this one kind of creepy. I just, I don't like that she's looking at me. <laughs> So she is also going to be banished. I said that so happily. I've been too excited about banishing these people. Okay, Justine Dancer. I want to like her so bad because I feel like this, beautiful. This is a good design. What? <laughs> Even the shoes. The shoes are great. I really like the top portion of the dress. I think that the print on the top is really pretty. The sheer sleeves is really beautiful. We've got like silver crown, silver necklace. That's fine. I have no idea what's going on with this belt here. Corset sort of belt. It's just a lot. I don't think that it looks good. I'm not sure what the design was they were going for, but I think I could forgive that if it weren't for this skirt. Why would you do that? Why? I hate that. I really violently dislike that. The pink comes out of nowhere. I don't like the ribbon pattern. I feel like it really is a disgrace to the pattern that's underneath the pink, because that's cute. That's pretty. Why would you put the pink on there? And then also, the gold. I don't know. I've said different things about color matching on this channel a few different times. Sometimes mixing metals really bothers me, and sometimes I can handle it. I cannot handle it in this case. I am actually very upset about it. <laughs> so if I could have like, like one of those dolls that's um like a hairstyling doll where you just get the bust and like the head, that would be beautiful of Justine Dancer. Her top portion, exquisite. Her bottom portion, why did you do that to her? So because she has a good top half, she's going to go into peasant. <laughs> Melody Piper is another doll that I have purchased with the um, intent to customize. She's okay. I don't know. I, I like things about her. I like that she has a tattoo. That's very fun. Sure that parents didn't love that one. Um, I think that the music shirt is kind of cringy. <laughs> but if this was just a plain shirt... Was this a dress? I can't even remember. But... If you took that off, I think I'd be more amicable to... Is that a word? Amicable. Not amenicable. Amicable. I feel like I'd be more amicable to the rest of her outfit. Her headphones... I know they're supposed to be headphones. They look like earmuffs. I don't know. She's... she's okay. She gets to go in commoner. Okay. <laughs> Jillian Beanstalk either looks like the aunt that you have that's way too into like herbal medicine or she looks like the aunt that is very obviously a lesbian but no one in the family will talk about it. <laughs> I know those are super specific but I'm right. I do like her face mold better. It's less round. I think that that's a huge improvement and honestly I didn't say either of the aunt things as an insult. I get it, but it's true. <laughs> I do like her corset type belt. I think that's really fun. I like this green printed dress. I even like the tights that she's got on, even though you can see where the end in the stock photo, like you can see a bit of her skin peeking out and I don't like that, but her shoes are cool. I think the only thing I don't love is this pink underneath the vest. The pink and green is kind of giving Venus McFly trap 
And I'm sorry, Jillian. You're very cute, but Venus is definitely better. Even so, though, she's good enough to where she's gonna get to go into Lord. Michelle Mermaid. I love mermaids so much. Y'all know this. I want so badly to like her, but I'm just not sure. I do enjoy the color of her tail. I think that's fun. Um, not tail, really. Skirt. Because she does have shoes here. Those are okay. I violently dislike that you can see even in the stock photo, like they weren't even trying to hide it from you. The fact that the scales don't continue to the back of the dress and also that the top portion of her dress, the back is blue. You can see a little line there that indicates that, which really is irritating. Um, I can't see much of the top because of like this kind of necklace slash armor piece that she's got going on here. I do think it's fine. It's kind of cool. I don't know. I, I really want to like her because I'm such a mermaid person, but I just don't. <laughs> not very much anyway. I think she's going to go into commoner. She's not super offensive, but I don't love her. All right. Nina Thumbbell. I don't think she's technically a fairy, but she gives fairy vibes, right? I love the shoes and the bag. I think that's cute. All of the like molded flower accessories are very cute. I don't know why they don't all match. The fact that her bag and her shoes, I guess they're like different types of flowers. Never mind. I'm, I'm actually okay with that. Different types of flowers get different paint jobs. I like the skirt. I think I'm less a fan of the pattern on the shirt, but she's still solid. Like this is a fun doll, very colorful, but like it's appropriate for her theming. I think she gets to go into Lord. Now we're getting away from like the core dolls. We're getting into like themed lines and this is where it gets really fun. Legacy Day Apple. Wow. <laughs> what a doll. This is so pretty. I love me a big ball gown on a doll. Oh my gosh. Layers. Details. Big cape thing. I love it. I love it so much. She's gonna go into Queen. Legacy Day Briar. I, listen, she's always going to have that pink and black theme that's going to make it kind of difficult for me. I love the cape. I love this ruff. Oh my god, the ruff at the neck. That's so cute. I don't like the dress as much. Yeah, I, I don't like the dress as much. It's still a good design. It's still cool. And she's definitely better than the other briar. So she's going to get to go into princess. Legacy Day Raven. I do appreciate that she's wearing pants. I think it's nice when um, female characters get to go to formal events in pants. I just think that's cool. Her cape? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's amazing. And I love it. And I am obsessed with it. Her jewelry and all of her accessories are really cool. I just, I just don't like the actual pants or the actual shirt. <laughs> Everything else is good though. So she is going to get to go into Princess as well. Legacy Day Ashlyn. This is the one I was talking about earlier when I was looking at her, like, main doll. I love this. This is so fun and, like, light and airy and just cute. I love the shoes. I love the tights. I love the dress. Look at this floral pattern. Look at how pretty this is. This is so cute. I'm just happy for her. She looks like she's vibing in her little flower crown. Is that a flower crown? It looks like a flower crown to me, so I'm going to call it that. It's so cute. Or I guess I should say floral crown, not like a flower crown, but you know what I mean. She's perfect. She's going to go into queen. Legacy Day Cerise is another knockout. Look at her. Look at her. Okay, listen, I understand that in 2023, high-low dresses are something that we make fun of. They're not that bad, at least not all the time. I don't think that they're always terrible. As someone who is shaped the way I am, high-low dresses were very convenient for me when I was younger because it meant that I could, like, wear a short dress but also not show my butt to everybody. <laughs> I just don't think that they're the fashion crime that a lot of people think they are now. I think that they can be cute, and I think that Cerise's is cute. I like the fur on her cape. I like the... or, like, her cloak. I like the fact that she's still got her hood up. That's very appropriate. I like her actual, like cloak not the hood but the proper cloak with the branches i think that's good she's cute she's not quite as good as the others but she gets to go into princess 
Okay, <laughs> now we get to the pajama line. And if you've been here for a while, you know I don't like pajama dolls. I just, I just don't get it. There are very few exceptions. And she's not one of them. <laughs> so she's gonna go into peasant. Getting fairest briar. Not a fan at all. Sorry, worse than apple. She goes in banished. Maddie. I like her hairstyle. Don't like anything else. Why is she wearing a headband with a teacup to bed? I don't get that. I don't get that. Banished. And then getting first, Raven. Uh, I don't like most of it, but I do like her fancy sleeves. I'm a sucker for a good fancy sleeve, and that and that alone is eking her up to peasant tier. Okay, okay, this is a good one. This is a good line. Throne coming, Apple. I can't critique this doll. I'm not worthy of critiquing this doll. She's so cute. I love her. I love her. I love her mask. I love her dress. I love her makeup. I love everything. She is a queen. Blondie. Hold on. Go. Yes. Blondie. Didn't like the original doll as much. Still don't love the hair. I don't know why. It's just, it's just not for me. I don't like the brown bits. Again, we've got like random brown fur. Don't like that part. But the dress. The rest of the dress? So cute! Oh my god, I love her! It's so cute. It's so cute. And her hairstyle is so cute. So this blondie gets to go into Princess. Cupid. This is a popular one. I don't know why I know that, but I do know that. I know that people like this Cupid and I get it. She's got super fancy wings. They're different than her normal Cupid. She's got little heart makeup. Precious. The dress. Lots of layers, lots of fabrics, super cool. Again, the bronze elements just look so good for her. They're so pretty. Oh gosh, she also gets to go into Queen. I didn't know I was gonna end up feeling passionate about any line in Ever After High. Like, I just wasn't really expecting that when I went into this ranking, but I do feel passionate about Throne Coming. That being said, I don't think that Raven is like the best example. I think that the collar up and then also her bag feel appropriate to what I've gleaned about her character, or at least her style from the other dolls. I think the dress is too princessy. I get that it's dark colors, like it's black and purple, but the cut, the silhouette, the lack of any edgy sort of detail, it just feels a little bit too nice. I don't know. I actually don't, I don't like this one as much. She's going to go into Lord. I know that's surprising, but yeah, I'm not, not a huge fan. And the last one for today, we're already almost done. That went by way quicker than I expected it to. Um, but we're looking at the Briar dressing room set. I did have to like zoom in on the doll itself. So I'm sorry if it's a little bit more blurry. I think this was also supposed to be connected to the throne coming line. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not a fan. I just feel like it's boring. And I think that having all of like the pink and purple in her hair rooted at the front actually doesn't look as good on her. I don't know what, what it is. Like, I don't know why. I just don't like this hairstyle, like the rooting pattern or the styling. Something about it is off to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this one. Is she the worst? No. I think she... <laughs> I can't really zoom in now. I made it too tiny. Um... Maybe I'm being too hard on her. She can go into commoner. So that is where we're leaving off the Ever After High ranking for today. It's a very even spread. Um, and like I said, it is only going to get worse from here, okay? But that being said, going into this like with the knowledge that I had before I started prepping for this video, I'm shocked by how many dolls I genuinely like. I don't know if I would go out of my way to buy any of them, but I do feel like all of the ones that are in queen tier, if I happen to see them at like a flea market or a doll show or a secondhand toy store, I feel like I would buy them if the universe presented me with an opportunity, you know? They're cute. I really, really appreciate the fancy dresses. There's some good dolls in this line, so even though I'm not a fan necessarily overall, I like it a lot more than I thought I would. And also knowing that the show is supposedly really awesome, 
I feel like the show might also make me like the dolls more whenever somewhere down the line I get to watch it. But this is where we're at for the ranking for now for part one. So yes, that is going to be the ranking for today. For anyone who is interested in the drama of my iPad's battery, it's only at 25% now. So it was only a 4% loss. I thought it was going to be way worse. I thought this thing was going to be at like 10% after having to screen record for that long. So that's super and fun. Doesn't matter at all for you guys, but you know fun little behind the scenes tidbit. Um, but yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on the dolls that we talked about today. If you want to drop a full ranking, super cool. If you just want to talk about like your highlights and your lowlights out of these dolls, that would be great as well. I would just like to kind of hear your thoughts. But yes, I do hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye guys!